hello guys welcome to this video of dls24 and in this video i'm going to tell you seven things that you should never do in dls24 so without further ado let's get right into the video okay so at number seven of things that you shouldn't do, you shouldn't do in dls24 is unlocking the ability to use custom kits and custom logos and i'll show you why it costs you 150 gems to be able to unlock the ability to use custom kits in dls 24 150 gems which is actually insane and uh, to be honest custom kits were a hit back in the day when dls didn't have many kits but nowadays i feel like there's a lot of options to choose from and importing your logo is going to cost you 75 gems as well so I wouldn't advise for you to actually waste 75 of your gems just to go and uh, unlock the ability to uh, have a logo. Just, just, just leave it there. This feature, don't waste your gems on this, guys. Okay. Okay. At number six of things you shouldn't do is buying common coaches in DLS24. Okay. Common coaches cost 22 gems each. And the, 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 the thing about common coaches is only one stat increase and it's only for one player. And these coaches cost 22 gems, which is actually a lot of gems. So I wouldn't advise you to buy these common coaches. Rather, I would advise you to actually release a common player to receive one common coach or release a, a rare player to receive two common coaches. I feel like that's the better way to do things other than wasting 22 of your gems just for one stat increase so it's actually not worth it in the end so this is the thing that you should avoid rather keep your gems because you're going to need them later okay at number five of things you shouldn't do is buying common and rare physios okay common physios cost 45 coins and these are not effect effective my friends uh, you actually have to use them twice okay rare physios cost 90 coins which is actually a lot uh you can definitely heal your starting 11 players with real coins uh, and it's not going to cost you 90 coins so these are actually a ripoff it's only the legendary ones which are good and they're actually good because you know they erase all existing uh, injuries that the players have so don't don't waste your money uh your coins buying these common and rare physios guys they are actually a ripoff okay coming in at number four of things you shouldn't do is skipping live tournaments or events okay yeah these are the live year events that I'm, I'm talking about where you we get these challenges every week and you actually compete online with other players to win prizes I would advise you to never skip these prizes because if you do win you usually get uh, legendary agents and uh, a lot of coins okay and these will in turn be able to boost your squad because you are going to get these legendary agents for free and they are going to sign good players which are going to actually uh, give your squad a good rating so do not skip uh, DLS live events, okay? They are the heart and soul to actually building a, a, a great squad for your team. So yeah, whenever there are events, please guys, just try your best to actually go and play uh, the challenges to win great rewards. Okay, coming in at number three of things you shouldn't do in DLS 24 is upgrading your recruitment facility. The recruitment facility is one of the most useless features in this game and you shouldn't waste your gems actually going there and upgrading it. Let's say you manage to upgrade uh, it to uh, level 5 where you are going to get a scout discount of 10% and an ag agent discount of 5%. Let me just show you what kind of numbers, uh, kind of discounts you are going to be getting for a common which was 75 coins is going to be 67 for a rare which is 240 it's going to be 216 for legendary 500 to be 450 coins which seems okay but this is where it actually gets interesting let's check out the agent for the agent is 40 gems it's going to be 30 gems rare 150 to 142 gems legendary 375 to actually 356 gems which is actually a ripoff so please don't upgrade your recruitment facilities 
Okay, guys, coming in at number two of things you shouldn't do in Taylor's 24 is paying for Dream Draft. Yes, I just said that. Dream Draft costs $4.00 for you to actually play it and if you do win you get 150 gems so for four dollars you get 150 gems which is actually funny because if you had to go to the store for four dollars you're actually gonna get 180 gems i just did the math for you two dollars is 90 gems that's four dollars is 180 gems which is actually 30 gems more than the for the same price than when you play in uh dream draft which is actually a ripoff. So I wouldn't advise you guys to actually pay for Dream Draft. You are being cheated. And finally, at number one of things you shouldn't do in DLS 24, can you try to guess it? Okay, I'm just going to tell you. You should never ever buy these specially developed players. They are the biggest ripoff in this game because for 490 gems you are going to get a specially developed player and it can be any of these you don't get to pick it's just a player at random and these are not maxed players they're just specially developed which is actually funny because you can get a legendary player for just 375 gems whereas those ones cost 490 which is actually a big rip off so guys no matter what you do playing this game please don't buy these specially developed players 